But let's go to a Palace fan. Chris has phoned us up. All right, Chris. Hi, guys. How you doing? Yeah, Chris. Chris uh, look, disappointing. Lost that. I mean, it's not been a good start to the season. I was all for Glasno. He looked good last season, but this year, mm-hmm. not the same. Yeah, look, it's, it's not it's not the fact that this season's been bad. It's that he's absolutely conned us with how we played at the end of last year. I genuinely think the man is a fraud because he played football where we were defensive and counter-attacked, and that's fine, right? We're Palace. We don't expect you to play Man City football. We'll happily take defensive football and deal with it. But what he's playing this year, after getting all the fans on side, is just a mess. It is genuinely, we are so defensive, and all we do, we went 2-1 down today because we gave the ball away. Kamada gave the ball away, and, and McNeil, great goal, great finish for the first one, and got their their fans back on side. We've conceded nine goals this season. Seven of them have directly come from our balls out into transition. Going into JP Mateta, mis- he miscontrols it, they counter and score. We've got nothing. I'm, I'm not over-exaggerating. Playing the way we are playing, this guy will take us down, and we will have people saying all season, no, nah, they've got Ezzy, they've got Gay, they're too good to go down. I'm telling you, we're not. The way we are playing is terrible. It's re- And there's no bright spot. We didn't trouble Everton once after no. going 2-1 down. It's bad. It's yeah, it's, bad, it's not probably. looking good. Look, can, it, can it just be down to the fact that you've lost Elise, or is there something more going on? Either Elise is the greatest player yeah. the world has ever seen, right? Or they've lost, it looks to me like the players aren't on side. I, it really looks like... They did last season. And I promise you... Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you now, Gehi was playing left side of the three centre-halves. Now what he's done, because we've sold Anderson, he's put it central. The left side centre-half this season has been played by Klein, Lacroix, Richards, and today Lerma. We don't have a left-sided one other than Gehi. So play Gehi there. Play Gehi there, Lacroix in the middle, Richards right centre-half. But I'm telling you now, this is a poor, poor team. And it, the, when he just spoke a minute ago. When, um, on the last show where we heard his interview, he doesn't know what he's doing. I genuinely feel that we are in serious trouble, and I'm not trying to over-exaggerate it. I've been to every game this season apart from Chelsea. But when we went to Chelsea and got a point, I'm sure Jason will tell you, that could have been 3-1, 4-1. should have been half-time. Um, should have been half-time. Yeah, yeah, it should have been. Yeah, we Man, United, yeah. Man United should have been 3-0 up on us last week. We've now got the next three games. We've got Liverpool at home next week. We've got Forest away, Spurs at home. We could be... We could not have a win going into November. Mm. And then we're in trouble. And I'll tell you now what will happen. When he gets that, because he will, because this doesn't look like his turnaround, it will, be, it will be Southgate that comes in as our ex-captain who led us to the championship. I know he's coming, it's just when he comes. Mm, because, okay. and, and I'm, I, I'm not saying that I want him to be sacked, because what we did last season was brilliant. It looks like you've taken his best player off him and he's gone, right, well, that's fine, we'll just play Chris, defensive football. Chris, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You guys, you guys were despondent with what um, Hodgson was doing there. And it felt a little bit like you were playing within yourself. Do you feel that Glasner's come in and he had a, had a lot of good players there? It didn't take a lot to turn around what Hodgson had done. Hodgson was stale. Hod- he obviously had his, his health issues and clearly things had to change. Yeah. Do you think that that was almost difficult not to improve upon? And I, now you're yeah, finding a, fl- a, a clean slate. He's finding it hard to establish what he wants to do. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You've also got to remember that Hodgson, and fair to him, it, it, it wasn't great at the end, but he was missing Elise and Eze for large parts yeah. of it as well last yeah. year. Okay. And we were, we were never actually in the bottom three. We were always three or four points around it, and we, we didn't look great, but we were missing them. Now, it's so defensive. All we do is play sideways and backwards. When we get out, we, we at goal kicks, we were two and down, and we'd wait for them to set, and then we'd play it short. It was, it was crazy. It's crazy for a club like us to be trying to play this football. If you want to play defensive and counter-attacking or long ball, I don't mind. But we've got nothing going forward because we wait for the other teams to get set. All it's right. so strange. Yeah. So strange. Chris, brilliant call, mate. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.